Hey YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another affordable luxury video. Today, I'm comparing the Saint Laurent Toy Lulu to three other options by Coach and Longchamp. This Toy Lulu is in the color Light Natural. I've got it paired with a 28-inch Samorga chain. When I got this bag, the shoulder or crossbody strap that it came with was not adjustable and it's a shorter crossbody but it works for me and I'll show you later. I like it with this 28 inch shoulder strap. I feel like it dresses it up. The hardware is an aged silver but unlike with my Lou camera bag that has aged silver hardware, the hardware on this is not as distressed so it doesn't have the blackened look. So if you do order one of these and it says aged silver, you might get one that has a lot of blackening and you may get one that has no blackening. So I have everything in this bag today, except for my phone. I had to switch into a smaller pouch. And if I didn't have the items in the pouch, I could put my phone in there, but I didn't wanna do that because then every time I open the bag, all of my little items would fall out as I turned it sideways to show you. As soon as I do mod shots for you of the Toy Lulu, I'm going to take everything I have out of it and I'm going to put those items into the next bag. I normally wouldn't have the long chain dangling, but you can see here on me, this is a really nice length. If you were taller than me, I'm 5'8", it might get a little short, but you could probably still pull it off. If you were shorter than me, it might be a little bit too long for you. I don't always use the leather strap. Sometimes I prefer to dress it up a little and do a shoulder carry or use a longer silver crossbody chain. On the old model of the Toy Lulu, the strap was divided like this and you can actually remove that section of the strap and make it into a wristlet. I have never done that and I never will. So it's a nice feature for some, but for me, I would prefer to have a aftermarket wristlet that was made out of a chain if I was gonna do that. And I really would just prefer to wear it on my shoulder if I'm dressing up. The first bag I'd like to compare it to is this one. This is the Longchamp quilted, extra small top handle tote. This bag holds a bunch and I've showed you before. I'm gonna take these items one at a time out and put them into the Longchamp. The Longchamp has a nice nylon lining that says Longchamp on it. It has a zippered pocket on one side and a slip pocket on the other side. You can see already that that pouch does not take up much space. I've got a makeup item, a feminine item, a splitter for my phone, as well as a tie to go stick. Half of those items I would normally keep in my pouch my longer one that does not fit into this Toy Lulu. I put my papers into the zippered pocket. I've got my three card cases, as well as my medicine pouch. I've got my, my key fob and my AirPods case. And with all of that in there, I still have room for my phone. So there's that bag fully packed. I thought I would try on this shoulder strap here just to show you how this bag would look with it. It does come with a crossbody strap, but I thought I'd give it a shot this way. So there it is with the shoulder strap. I think it's really cute that way. Now the hardware is black copper or gun metal, I think they call it. I always get mixed up with coach terminology, but I do think the silver goes really nicely on this particular white bag. Usually I'm not big on mixing metals, but the pearls that I have on the front almost make silver acceptable in my mind because they match the bag so well. So there's the crossbody strap and you can see that the Saint Laurent does hang a little bit lower. And remember, neither of these is adjustable, but I think both work. The one final option would be to do a chain strap. On the left, I've got the Toy Lulu with the silver Samorga chain strap. And on the right, I have the Longchamp Extra Small with the Model Worker gunmetal strap. 
Next, I'd like to show you the Willis 18 compared to the Toy Lulu. They look pretty similar in size. The Willis 18 may be a touch wider at the bottom, but at the top, it's narrower. This Willis 18 is in soft metallic gold, and you can see it actually is a fair amount wider when you look at it from the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and move the items over into the Willis so I can show you that. Before I start, I did wanna show you that the Willis is fully lined in leather. It has a back zip pocket right there, and then it has a front credit card slot. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the pouch. Then I'm gonna put my three card holders in, as well as my medicine. I'm gonna put my papers in. There's a front slip compartment right there. I'll stick the papers in. And then my last few items are sort of odds and ends. It all fits, but it's tight, kind of like the Toy Lulu, and my phone does not fit inside. But I could fit my phone inside if I didn't have the pouch. So there's that one. I love this strap. The grommets on it are really pretty. Okay, so here's the Toy Lulu with the strap it came with compared to the Willis 18 with the strap that it came with. I love the strap on the Willis, but if you wanted to dress it up, you could wear it on the shoulder as well, much like the Toy Lulu. Kind of got this strap all twisted. There we go. That's a little better. So see, they both make nice shoulder carry type options. The last bag I want to show you is the Coach Quilty camera bag. It again is all leather lined and has a slip pocket on this side and a slip pocket on that side. I'm going to put my feminine product and my Tide stick and my eyeliner and my cell phone converter all in the bottom so they don't fall out when I try to show you. And I got my pouch in there, my medicine. I've got three card holders, like I've mentioned. I have absolutely everything in there. It's really full, but it all fits. So here's the last shoulder shot. I bet you hadn't thought about wearing a camera bag as a shoulder bag, but it actually works, especially with this chain. I think it's really cute with this chain. So there you go. And then let me show you the crossbody options. Okay, so you can see that the Toy Lulu is here. This strap is adjustable on the camera bag, so I could move it down or up. The camera bag strap also has the grommets on it. And since I've already tried this bag on with the chain strap, in this bag, I probably wouldn't use with the chain strap because the strap that it comes with is so nice and I love the silver metallic with the grommets. So I would either use it with the short chunky chain or I would use it like this. So both of the coach bags are made out of a metallic quilted leather. They're both really soft. They feel slightly less durable than the Toy Lulu, but they also feel more luxurious and they're 100% leather lined, which is super nice. And they feel, the quality just feels amazing. So I don't think that I could say that this is better quality than this. And this retails for $275. And then this one retailed for $375. But you can get both of them for way less. This one's on the outlet right now. And I'm not sure if this one is, but it's definitely on sale. So $275 and $375 versus over $1,500. And then this bag, this bag is the least durable of the bunch, but it holds the most and it's fabric lined like this one is. This one is lambskin and I've worn it once and I already put a few little marks on it. And so this is the least durable out of all of them because I've worn all of them at least once. And they have a very different look, but this bag looks really cute on the shoulder too, and I wouldn't have necessarily guessed that. This bag retails for $640. Again, this is over $1,500. This is an excellent value for your money, and you can get it on sale too. This one is sold out currently, so I say you could get it on sale, but I lied. Sorry. But 
you can find this on the resale market for around $300 to $400. So still way less than the St. Laurent. I hope you have enjoyed this Lux for Less video. I would have to say, even though this one may not look exactly like the Toy Lulu, I like this one just as much. And it's my favorite option out of the bags I have that I think could fulfill the same need as this bag. And this one holds almost the exact same amount. So not only is it a luxurious leather that feels wonderful to the touch, it's 100% leather lined, and it comes with a beautiful, more functional strap than this one did. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm headed out for vacation, so you may hear from me a couple times in the next week, but it won't be with the frequency that I normally come to see you. So don't forget about me. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I promise I'll have more fun and exciting content coming up soon. Thanks and take care.